I do some shows at churches and things, and I, a marriage thing. I don't know why, but I did the whole happy wife, happy life thing for, for years. And uh, anyway, they would call, and these young men would come over, and they'd ask me things like, you know, man, you've been married a long time. How do you keep the romance going after all that time? And I look at them, and I, I tell them the truth. We don't. <laughs> it took me 20 years to get Tammy's expectations of me low enough to where I can meet them on a regular basis. <laughs> You know, when you keep that bar down there, man, I'm a great husband, I really am. She starts, ra why would I raise the bar? It just frustrates her and I love her too much. I gotta tell you, it was the select comfort bed, didn't help. I mean, we love the bed, we really do. But it didn't work out for us because our numbers are so far apart, right? If you know what the bed is, each side of the bed has a number. Anyway, the higher the number, the harder the mattress. So my number is 100 marble slab, that's it. I'm just getting ready for the morgue, folks. You know, they're gonna throw me on that slab and I'm gonna go, ha ha, I'm home. You know. Tammy's number is two, I think, two. First night she laid on her side of the bed, she disappeared from my view. I mean, the, the mattress wrapped around her like a flour tortilla. Uh, poor thing was sleeping in a chalupa on her side. So then I roll over to kiss her goodnight. I fell into a ditch. I couldn't get out anymore. I'm just laying there. She's like, get off of me. What are you doing over here? Get off of me. By the way, if you're a newlywed, that's the sound of 34 years of love right there. <laughs> you're on my hair. You haven't shaved. Your breath smells. Will you stop touching me? And don't get me wrong. We still try to get intimate. We just save it for special holidays now. <laughs> Turns out Tammy's favorite is leap year. <laughs> I didn't even know that was an actual holiday. I just, I'll dim the lights and put on some shot A. She'll go, wow, has it been four years already, Tiger? Come on, mom will get the good flannel on for you tonight. Just make sure you're wearing those hunting socks, Tammy. I know you got that, you got that neuropathy thing. Don't want your feet getting cold. Or, you know. ah, we're married, we try, we do try. We just know how much time and energy it actually takes. And we prefer to watch Law and Order, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> she falls asleep at 9.15 every night, 9.15. You could set a watch by her, but at 9.10, you look at Tammy on a couch, it's like a gas leak goes off. She's just... <laughs> hey, sweetheart, maybe you should go to bed. I'm fine, Jeff, I'm fine, I'm fine. What are you, a five-year-old child? Quit fighting it and just go to bed. Will you be quiet? This is my favorite show. Poor thing, she's seen the beginning of every Law and Order for five years. And now they come on and rerun and she's yelling at me, I've seen this one, well give it 20 minutes. <laughs> Hang in there. And now her favorite show is Dateline. We, we started binging it during the COVID. We never watched that, 20 years it's been on. I don't know if anybody watches this show, but it, the whole thing is, the whole franchise is built on spouses killing each other. I mean, that's it. Who knew how many marriages in this country ended in murder? You know, they talk about the divorce rate. They gotta start talking about the murder rate. I mean it. Men, watch five date lines with your wife. You'll look her right in the eye. We doing all right, you and me? Because nobody ever sees it coming, nobody. Not one family member goes, boy, what the question was what took so long. We saw that one a mile away. No, it's always, oh, they loved each other so much. They were such a beautiful couple, really. They found her in the forest in 11 different shoe boxes. I think they had a couple unresolved conflicts you guys were unaware of. 